Welcome to part one of our three bite-sized videos introducing CAT4 and the information it gives us about pupils' underlying ability, enabling us to quickly and easily spot underachievement. In this video, we'll investigate what the CAT4 is and how it's administered. In the second video, we'll look at what standardised tests are, why to use them and how they work with your knowledge of the learner. In the third and last video, we'll look at the CAT4 results and reports and how they can help you. First, let me tell you a little about GL assessment. Our expertise in assessment has been gained from decades of working with schools and teachers, not just in the UK, but internationally as well. Our aim is to provide you with data that will help you to enable every child to realise their full potential in the classroom by taking into account their ability to achieve, their current attainment and any barriers to learning that they might have. We work with expert partners including universities and leading educational research institutions to ensure that our assessments are the most rigorous and academically sound and also that they're in line with current best practice in education. Our assessments are also widely used by the Education Endowment Foundation to measure the impact of their intervention research. Everything that we do, from assessment tests to the service and support we provide, is informed by what school leaders tell us they need and by an understanding of the realities of teaching today. In a high achieving school, you need to ensure that you understand the true potential and abilities of your pupils. Using subject based tests alone won't give you the full picture. CAT4 provides an independent perspective on potential pupil achievement, enabling you to set challenging targets in all subjects. It's the UK's most widely used test of reasoning abilities for children aged 6 to 17 or more years, measuring the four main types of ability known to make a difference to learning and achievement. It's important here that we have a shared understanding of the difference between ability and attainment. Attainment is the learner's current performance, reference to subject knowledge, so it's what a student knows or doesn't know. On the other hand, ability is a measure of how well students can process and assimilate information. CAT4 is a test of reasoning, not curriculum knowledge. This measure outside of current performance helps us see if the learner is performing at a level commensurate with their underlying ability. We're trying to identify and measure an underlying facility to process information, we're looking for under or over achievement so that we can match curriculum challenge to pupils. So how can CAT4 make a difference to you? CAT4 used alongside the Progress Test Series and New Group Reading Test data helps you to accurately assess your students. It helps you to spot pupils in danger of not meeting targets as well as those with the ability to exceed them. This will directly help you to judge where you need to provide extra support or set more challenging targets right from the start and throughout your students' school careers. CAT4's verbal, non-verbal, quantitative and spatial profiles, together with Key Stage 2 and GCSE indicators, inform target setting, including providing most likely and challenging indicators. The digital version of CAT4 saves you marking time by providing instant results and analysis, which you can act on straight away. Schools using CAT4 tell us that it really helps when giving feedback on performance, that it's within the context of students nationally, and dedicated parental reports help parents to engage directly with their child's development. Now let's have a look at the practical side. CAT4 is taken in three separate sessions and can be taken on tablets as well as on PCs. It's usually used to benchmark pupils on arrival, but actually it can be taken in any year throughout primary and secondary school. There are seven levels of CAT4, each one relevant to a certain year group. It's important that your pupils sit the test that is appropriate for their age. As I said, the CAT4 is taken in three separate timed sessions. These shouldn't be consecutive, should preferably be on three separate days, but not spaced over more than three weeks. As you can see here, the tests each cover more than one cognitive area. Thank you for watching the first of our videos introducing the CAT4. 
why not have a look at part two, where we'll be looking at what standardised tests actually are, why they're valuable to you and your students, and how they work together with your knowledge of the learner.